Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. T-I-D. See what I did there? You see what I did there. And I have a book review and discussion video on the first book, so if you'd like to see that video, then you can click on T-I-D and it'll take you there. Click it, and it'll take you to book one book review. Yeah! I will say that I liked book two way more than book one. It was just a step above book one. I found it to be a very strong and mighty sequel. This book just felt like a complete game changer for this trilogy because there are so many different reveals, things that just had me going like, ah! This book just also made you feel all of the emotions. Happiness, heartbreak, sadness, anger, shock, excitement, everything, just every feeling ever you felt it with this book. I don't really know what else I can say about this book without spoiling anything, so I'm gonna be jumping into a spoilery section right now. I imagine that most of you guys have already read this trilogy, but if you have not read this book, you should go read it and then come back and join me. Obviously read book one first if you haven't read that and then read this book. So if you have not read this book, go read it. If you have read this book, let's discuss Clockwork Prince. There are just so many things to talk about. I have no idea where to start. I'm actually gonna first talk about something that kept being brought up in my last video in the comments section. Apparently I pronounce Jem? Jem? I pronounce his name weird? Jem? I, I call him Jem. Is that right? Is that wrong? I think it's my Missouri accent, but I don't know. Apparently I'm pronouncing his name wrong, and a lot of you guys were upset with me. Like, you're pronouncing it wrong! I don't know how to say it differently. Let me, let me look up a pronunciation really quick. How to pronounce Jem. 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 That was a weird one. <laughs> so if I continue to pronounce his name wrong throughout this video, I apologize, but I'm just saying it the way that I know how to say it. I'm sorry. Let's first just talk about Jem and Tessa because I want to talk about them. I want to talk about the things that happened between them throughout this book. I love them so much together, but I just know deep down in my heart that in book three, Tessa's gonna end up with Will, and it makes my heart so sad. It's pretty clear to me that Tessa's true feelings lie with Will, and she really wants to be with Will, but it's almost like she settles with Jim in this book because she doesn't want to hurt him. But I just want them to be together, and I don't feel like it's gonna happen. I don't feel like they are endgame, and I really want them to be endgame because I love them together. It just feels like Jim really knows Tessa, and he caters to the things that she likes by taking her to things that she might be interested in, and he makes sure that she feels extra special, and I just want them to be end game, but I know in my heart that they're probably not end game. Don't tell me if they are end game or if they aren't end game, please, because I don't know how, but I still have yet to be spoiled for book three, so don't tell me anything. I feel like there were so many moments between Jem and Tessa where Tessa was just like majorly friend zoning him. Oh, Jem, you're such a great dot 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 friend. <laughs> Poor Jim. The last thing that I was expecting to happen was for Jim to propose to Tessa. I was just like, what you doing, Jim? I am A-OK -okay with this happening, but holy crap, what? So unexpected, but I am more than OK with it. So Will's backstory is finally revealed, and I know that I said in a recent video that I'm kind of over the trope where it's like this bad guy with this tragic backstory, but I feel like this is different. I'm going to let this one slide because I started to like Will a little bit more in this book. I feel so bad because he thinks for five years that he's cursed, that he's been cursed by a demon and that everybody he loves dies. But he was freaking tricked into thinking that he was cursed. Like, what? 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 He spent five years of his life being so guarded and making sure that nobody cared about him enough to where they would die. I just, I, I still can't believe that happened to him. Like, that douchey demon, you need to die, die, die. This was the part where I was just like, this changes everything. Because because Jim and Tessa are together, but Tessa definitely has feelings for Will, and Will definitely has feelings for Tessa, but he also loves Jim like a brother and would never do anything to hurt him like that. It all just makes so much sense as to why I thought he was a douchey butthole in the first book. Dear Will, I'm sorry for thinking that you were an awful human being. You had no choice but to do what you had to do, and I respect that, even if you had to be terrible to people. Let's talk about Jessamine, because oh my gosh, Jessamine, what? Even, this is another thing that I was just not expecting at all within this book. I knew that Jessamine was stupid. I really didn't like her in book one, but holy freaking crap. 
Holy freaking crap! I never, never, ever expected her to betray these people who have brought her in and have treated her like family. Like, what are you doing, Jasmine? What are you doing? I died laughing when Sophie was like, I saw the invitation and then I hit her over the head with a mirror and tied her to the bed. Slay, Sophie, slay! This book just confirmed how nuts Jessamine is. If book one didn't already do that to you, this book definitely did this for you. I just want to reiterate the fact that I think that Nate is the worst brother ever. 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 Worst brother or half brother or whatever he is. He's the, the worst. He's the worst at whatever he is, okay? Even if they're not really related, they grew up together. And Tessa still showed him love and treated him as family. And yet he turns his back on her and completely goes against her. Just so aggravating. I feel bad though because no matter what Nate does, Tessa's always there just like, I still care for him. I still care for my brother. But we don't gotta deal with Nate no more because he is D-E-A-D- Dead. I really, really want to know more about Tessa's parents because I found that to be just so interesting. It said that demons and shadow hunters aren't able to have children. So is what Nate said a lie? Is it true? Are shadow hunters and demons really able to get together and have children? I don't know. I just want to know more about that. I'm just confused by all that and I need to know what's going on there. I need answers, Cassandra Clare. I guess I'll find out answers in book three. I, I should probably read book three like tomorrow. I kind of have a little bit of a new ship. I totally ship Gabriel and Sophie like there is no tomorrow. I love them together so much. Something else that I just found really interesting and kind of shocking was about Charlotte's and Henry's past together and how Charlotte always thought that Henry had no choice but to marry her when really Henry was completely in love with her and wanted to be with her. That was just really interesting to me. But I'm kind of glad that they had that talk in this book because it really changed the dynamic between Charlotte and Henry. So many things happen at the end of this book that I'm still just like trying to process everything. Charlotte's pregnant, they're gonna have a baby. Will admits his feelings for Tessa. And then Will's sister pops up. Oh hey! So those are all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. You guys should let me know down below if you have read this book and what you thought of it. What was your favorite moment throughout this book? I want to know down below. Let me know. Also if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-choo! <laughs>